Let's look at mixed numbers and improper fractions and how we move from one to the other. But first, let's just remind ourselves what they are. If we've got this diagram, how many tenths do we have? Well, there's 10 tenths and 9 tenths. So altogether, we've got 19 tenths. Now, this is an improper fraction, and we call it that because the numerator, the number on the top, is larger than the denominator, the number on the bottom. And that's it. That's an improper fraction. Now, we can express that same value as a mixed number because 10 tenths is the same as 1. So we could write the number as 1 and 9 tenths. A mixed number is a mixture of a whole number and a fraction. That's how I remember what a mixed number is. Now, let's convert from a mixed number to an improper fraction. Let's say we've got 2 and 1 fifth. We have a number line here, and I've actually got fifths in between the whole numbers. Now, one thing we know is 2's there, and 2 and 1 fifth is there. Now, because we've got 2 and 1 fifth, the 1 fifth tells us that our improper fraction will have 5 as its denominator. So we can write that in there. Now, we multiply that 5 by our whole number. And you'll see why. 5 twos are 10. And if you have a look, there's 5 fifths for 1, another 5 fifths for 2. So altogether, that's 10 fifths. But we've also got the 1 fifth. So we have to add that on. We've got 10 fifths, which was our 2 whole, and 1 fifth. So the improper fraction is 11 fifths. 2 and 1 fifth is the mixed number. 11 fifths is the improper fraction. Let's do it mathematically now without the number line. What we do is we take our denominator. In this case, it's 4, and we write that there. Then what we do is we multiply that by the whole number because that will tell us how many quarters in 2. 2 times 4 is 8. Plus we've got the 1 quarter, so 8 quarters plus another 1 quarter is 9 quarters. So there's our mixed number, and there it is expressed as an improper fraction. Now if we go the other way, we start with an improper fraction. In this case, we're going to start with 13 fifths. We've got fifths, so we know we're going to have a number line with sections into fifths. Our 13 tells us where on our number line we are. We've got 5 fifths, 10 fifths, because there's another 5 there, and another 3 fifths, and that's where 13 fifths is on our number line. So you can see the whole number if you look at the number line. So what we've got is 1 plus another 1 makes 2, so our whole number is 2, and then we've got 3 fifths. So 13 fifths is the same as 2 and 3 fifths. Our improper fraction is 13 fifths because the numerator is bigger than the denominator and our mixed number is 2 and 3 fifths. Now let's work this out without the number line. We've got fifths, so we know the fraction part of our mixed number will have fifths. What we do is we take our numerator and divide by the denominator. In fact, 13 fifths means 13 divided by 5. So 13 divided by 5, we get 2 and some leftover. Two fives are 10. So 2 is our whole number. And we had 13 fifths. We've just allocated 10 of them. We've got 3 fifths left. Now let's try a few more. 14 divided by 3, or 14 thirds. That's an improper fraction. So 14 divided by 3 gives us 4. And there's still some thirds left because we've got 14 thirds. We've allocated 4, which is 12 thirds, and there's 2 left. So 4 and 2 thirds is the mixed number for 14 thirds. This time we've got 3 and 1 sixth. We've got a mixed number. It's a mixture of a whole number and a fraction. And we're going to actually end up with an improper fraction with 6 as our denominator. We've actually got 3 multiplied by 6, or 6 times 3. That's 18 plus 1 more. So we've all together got 19 sixths. So there's the improper fraction for 3 and 1 sixth. 